Hello, welcome to a Paper Flourish craft video. My name is Julie. I've decided to make a video today. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to do, but I do know that I'm going to open my pack of Lopter paper, which I've just recently bought, and have a play with it. This is a new Lavinia product. Uh, you get 10 packets in the sheet. They're A4 size, and it is a beautiful, natural sort of paper this is a sheet of it here it reminds me very much of rice paper so I can see you being able to make Lavinia rice papers which is really exciting I can see my mind's been spinning with all the ideas that you could do with this amazing product it'd make a beautiful front of a card um, I can see it working beautifully in journals as well so what I'm going to do today is I'm going to fold this piece of lock to paper in half now, if it works like rice paper, is that I haven't tried this yet, so it's all a bit of an experiment. But I've got a, just a fine brush. I'm going to wet it. I fold it in half, and I'm just going to wet along that half halfway line, and it should hopefully just tear in half, and you get left with that lovely natural sort of torn edge, which it's going to do beautifully, just like a rice paper does. So I'm going to put one piece to the side. Now, I want to have that kind of edge the whole way around. So, and I want to come in just a little bit. I mean, the edges are deckled, sort of they're quite natural. Um, but I just want to make it a little bit smaller than half a piece of A4. So I'm just going to tear away. I'll do that around all the edges so we get this lovely ripped, torn edge. Here's my piece of lock to paper. Now I did give that a quick dry with the heat tool. You can dry it no problem at all with that. And here it is, so beautiful. It's just the most gorgeous, gorgeous paper. Okay, the other exciting product which arrived this week at Paper Flourish are the Lavinia Dinkles. And I've chosen two colors, Burnt Orange and Lime Divine. Is that just not the most divine name I've ever you've ever heard? Dinkles. So what are dinkles? They're a gorgeous powder and they're going to do lots and lots of magic um, things. You can ink your backgrounds. You can, oh, so many ideas. Keep a watch out because I'll have a lot of videos coming up, not only here, but also on our Instagram where I'll be using these dinkles. So trying to give you lots of ideas of how to use your new products. I find you can undo the top, it does unscrew, you can go straight into the powder, but I find you need so little of these product. The best way is to get one of these uh, poster pins, um, and I just got these from the supermarket, and pop it into the top, and that just makes a tiny little, takes a little bit, it's a little bit stiff at the moment to get out. Here we go. There we go. So it makes a tiny little hole in the top, which is more than enough to be able to get the Dinkles product out. Now, I have no idea if what I'm going to do is going to work. We will find out. I'm going to get a couple of pieces of paper towel ready. I don't want to saturate this lot to paper. So what I'm going to do is just add a little sprinkle of Dinkles. This is the burnt orange. I don't want to cover this in colour. I just want to add some little pops of colour. And this is Lime Divine. Let's see if it works. My water bottle, spray bottle, and I'm just going to spray. I can always add more if I don't feel I've got enough there. Oh, that's looking pretty now. <clears throat> I might just add a little bit more of the orange. I said, I don't want to absolutely saturate this paper. Mind you, I seem to be doing that, don't I? Anyway, we'll see what happens. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, we'll try again. Now, without picking it up, I'm going to get my heat tool and try and dry that off. Let's see what happens. So the Lopter paper is now completely dry. It's turned, it was quite wet. Um, as I've dried it, it's come back to its original form. It's a little, probably a little bit more textured than it was, and I love that look. So I didn't completely saturate it with water. Um, so I've still got those little pops of colour. A little bit of blues come here. I think that might have come out of the Lime Divine. And I'm going to leave the background just like that, but I think that looks pretty cool. Very exciting when new products arrive. I'm going to stamp on it. Well, we're going to give it a go. So I'm going to pop this into my stamp press, the um, sticky grid sheet so it helps to hold that paper in place. 
as do the magnets. I've decided to start off with one of my favourite stamps of all time. This is Bumble Lodge. That's right, Bumble Lodge. Okay, and I'm going to stamp this in the Monarch Versafine Clear ink pad. Okay, I'm just going to press with my uh, Pink Fresh Stamp Press Tool. Here we go. Can we stamp on lock to paper? We sure can. I'm going to do that one more time just to get a bit more solid image. Bumble Lodge has stamped beautifully on the lock to paper. I'm going to try this lovely fairy. Her name is Celeste. And I'm going to stamp this time Nocturne Versafine Claire. I've stamped Celeste a couple of times. I've noticed it's a little bit faint here. And where that is is next to the edge of the sticky grid sheet. So that's interesting. I wonder with the thin paper, it might be better to try without that. But I don't mind that look. It gives a bit of a rustic look. That's all good. All right, I've chosen a few foliage stamps. I'm just going to play around with the background. This is the Starlight set. And I'm going to stamp in Green Oasis Versafine Clear. This cute little stamp is called Fairy Buttercups, and I'm going to play around with that around the bottom of the rice paper, use, or of the locked paper, sorry, using Rainforest Versifying Clear. The stamp I've got here is Fairy Spells, and I'm going to stamp that with Summertime Versifying Clear, the orange. All right, I'll just hold that up so you can see, but see how those words are just stamped faintly along the edges there of the lock to paper of course the all important question can you add glitter to lock to paper i sure hope so quickie glue pen let's give it a try i think that celeste needs some glitter on her wings and i'm going to go with the holographic glitter so let's try that first sprinkle a little of this beautiful glitter on You certainly can. How pretty is that? I'm going to add some glitter as well to the bands of Bumble Lodge. Here is my finished um, lock to paper um, Lavinia piece. So while I've been making this, I feel this needs to go into a journal. So I'm kind of feeling a bit of a Lavinia junk journal maybe coming on. So Stay tuned for that. More videos on the way. I'm going to play more with the lock to paper, but I think we might. I might start to put this into a journal. So I might that make that in our next video. We might make the journal, and then just start to add different um, different pieces of the lock to paper into it. But I absolutely love this product. The finish of it so different. You could put that onto a card. So this would make a stunning card front. You could ink the edges if you wanted to, but I'm going to leave it really natural, just like that. Thanks so much for joining me on the start of my lock to paper journey. And also with the dinkles, if you haven't had a chance to see the dinkles, they are stunning. The colours are beautiful. And that's um, to me, that's the beauty of these, this product. The colour palette is absolutely stunning. So I look forward to playing with them more on videos with you very soon. Enjoy your day, everyone. I'll be back again soon. Bye.